is the tax force in charge of the new Gombe State Leadership Training Center and the National Youth Service Corps Orientation Camp as a short that the facility would be completed before the end of the year. This assurance was given during an inspection visit by top officials of Gombe State Government. Correspondent Larry Adeyemi reports. At the peak of the Boko Haram insurgency in 2015, the federal government took over the Gombe State National Youth Service Corps Orientation Camp for a top national security exercise codenamed Operation Safe Corridor. For eight years, Gombe State has been using a makeshift facility as NYC Orientation Camp. This is about to change. Workers are racing against time to beat the deadline. This edifice will stand the test of time because of the quality of work put into it and the investment of His Excellency, the Governor of Gombe State, who has foresight for the citizenry. This place is going to be an edifice that will serve its purpose to cater for the teeming youth. Somewhere at the end of this year, that is the target for at least completion of the first phase. So some of the few things uh, that are coming up today, I've asked them to make a list of them so that His Excellency will look at it. The inspection team went around the facility led by the secretary to Gombe State government. Professor Njodi took feedback from everyone involved. Each of the officers also planted a tree, identifying with the Gombe Gold's Green Initiative. The commitment is that this dual use facility must be fit for purpose and meet the best standards. We always consider our youth very important because we feel our youth are the future of the country, of the, of the state, and of the country by extension. So putting up a place like this uh, will only replace the one we have lost. This facility, when completed, will serve as a national youth core camp, serving thousands of core members posted to Gombe State from across Nigeria. When camp is not in session, it would also serve as a leadership and vocational training center, serving thousands of Gumbi State youths who desire leadership skills and vocational training. From Botungo, Landry Adiemi, TVC News.